This is the new 2020 Polaris General XP1000, and it's the General that we've all been waiting for. It takes your standard do-it-all sport utility General 1000 and boosts its off-road performance by giving it a brand new chassis and new larger tires. Let's start by discussing the driveline. The General XP1000 uses a driveline that's fundamentally the same that you'd find in the standard General 1000, but it has been tweaked and revised in certain areas to handle the loads of higher performance off-road driving and the larger tires uses the same 100 horsepower ProStar 1000 engine that you'd find in the entire general lineup. Uh, but what you've got are strengthened gear cases front and rear with revised gear ratios. And then you'll also do have a brand new driven clutch that's pulled directly from the Razor XP1000. Same goes for the belt. Now let's talk about the chassis on the new General XP. Both two and four seat models do get brand new one piece frames. These frames are strengthened in key areas to handle the extra load that come from these larger tires and a long travel suspension. Both chassis are also more rigid for better control and suspension action. The General XP features a new wider stance at 64 inches wide thanks to a new long travel suspension package. A-Arm's front and rear are high clearance so it does boost your usable ground clearance and we have a new shock package for the General. Uh, there are Walker Evans Velocity Series shock with compression adjustment on top and a piggyback reservoir. The General XP sports a new wheel and tire package. This 15 inch wheel is taken directly from the Razor XP Turbo S and then we have a new 30 inch tire from Pro Armor. It's a crawler series tire and it boosts our ground clearance from 12 inches on the standard car up to 13 and a half inches on the XP. Something that is unique, your front and rear tires are different. Both are an XG series but the front is a new XGF. With a slightly different tread pattern it's designed to help enhance handling and improve turn in. The exterior of the General XP is largely a carryover from the base model, except we do have a wide body conversion. The new wider flares front and rear will help provide additional mud protection, which is especially important considering we have a new wider stance. Something that's unique on the bed is the bed sides are now removable. So you can pop them out and there's additional storage inside. The General XP shares the same interior as the 60 inch deluxe models, which is largely unchanged for 2020 model year, but we do have two new audio options. Standard, we have the Rockford Fosgate Stage 2 audio, which gives you the Rockford Fosgate head unit and two in-dash speakers mounted down low. This model here has the Rockford Fosgate Stage 4 kit, which gives you the Polaris Ride Command 7-inch touchscreen as your head unit. You have the two speakers down low, and you also do have the two speakers roof mounted in the back here. Lastly, you have an in-dash subwoofer. The General XP1000 provides an unprecedented level of versatility and performance capability. We're excited to finally have this thing on the showroom floor. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you'd like to see future content on new models and our future builds. This has been Ernie with Miller's Motorsports. Thank you for watching.